Hey YouTube, Max Counter again. I just want to bring you a little update here. Um, on just I've been working with this case now, the NZXC Tempest Evo, and I just want to say that I've only run into two problems. One is on the mounting side over here, uh, where they have the automatic mounters things. Uh, it only gets one side, so it works on a DVD ROM, but I have an actually an NZ NZ NZXT, uh fan controller which is really skinny so I had to screw another screw on the side but it's very limited on the back here where it goes like diagonal here when there's one right here and one right here to screw in and it's not there because the, this thing like blocks some of them but anyways that would be the only discomfort for me uh, is I have to put a screw there but I'm not gonna remove it anytime soon so that doesn't really bother me um, and another little oops, sorry Another little thing is my power supply. Uh, the cord isn't long enough to reach it up there because it was generally a top mount of power supply, but I'm going to get a new one anyways because this one's really old. So I have to keep it upright right now, but luckily for the case it has enough room. And so that's the way I'm going to plug in my 24-pin uh, power. But uh, other than that, I need a new power supply anyways because the color scheme does not match as you see. I'm going to get one with sleeved black, so that'll be nice. Uh, anyways, um... I believe that's about it. Oh, and uh, the hard drive. These mounting brackets. Uh, these mounting brackets work on the older hard drives. Like here, I have, I have an older hard drive right here. Nice IDE. Uh, I think it's like an. I'm not even sure. It's like a 120 gig, I think. And the way these work is, you set it up, and you see that little ledge there on the end right there the camera's not focusing but you can see this ledge right here where my finger's tapping uh... that goes over the edge there on a normal hard drive see how it goes right over but on this one mine's a newer version this is SATA it's skinnier and the ledge doesn't make it over for some reason like it hits one of these uh... edge screws so i'm just laying it down i'm not sure how i'm gonna mount it in here yet um, but I'll have to figure that out. It, sh it shouldn't be easy because I know there's screw holes on the side here, and that's just like a regular case. I can just, if anything, I'll just, I'll just have to screw it in normally. But yeah, that's about it. Um, and one more thing I want to say is, uh, I didn't mention it in the unboxing, but the side back panel here, you see how I have all these cords? This thing is actually indented on the top there, as you see. So it fits all these cords, and I stung because when it goes on like that, it has like extra room on the top there as you see for all these cords to fit so don't worry sorry so don't worry if uh... you know you have a big jutting out cord there and all the big bundles it all fits perfectly alright so thanks for watching this video a little update and uh... stay tuned for more